hi dear people how are you all doing welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking thank you for always coming back to watch my videos my name is dolako and i'm the creative director of dolby crafties if you are new you're welcome if you're an old subscriber welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create an heart with crinoline so i have the following materials with me this is art wire the normal millinery wire we have crinoline of about seven inches width i have about two yards here i have my felt ready-made cap i have my bias strip i have uhg glue and i have a pair of scissors i have thread the matching color of thread and i also have needle i have needle all right so i have my wire cut out the measurement depends on how you want it so i have covered or i wrapped the two ends of the wire i overlapped them and i wrapped it with um, paper tape so i am going to cut out the crinoline i'll be needing for this project and the measurement is 36 inches plus one inch extra allowance so that makes it 37 inches so i'm just going to measure that out and i'm going to cut it out having done that i'm going to start by sewing my crinoline to my wire i'll just put one end of the crinoline onto my wire as you can see and i'm going to start using my needle and matching color of thread to sew on it i'm going to be sewing the crinoline to the art wire if you are here to subscribe please click on the subscribe button join the family here i post tutorials on different on how to be different kind of headwear so you can join us to benefit from all our free tutorials i'm going to sew it sew the crinoline to the art wire like this just watch what i'm doing see how i'm sewing the crinoline to the art wire i'll be doing that round i've sewn the crinoline to the art wire up to this point as you can see so i'm going to place one end to the other end that's i'll place the the end to the beginning all right i overlap the ends like that and i'm going to sew having done that we are on to the next step i'm going to be covering the wire with my bias strip all right i'm going to cover the wire with my bias strip but before then i'm going to trim off any excess i have right there that's where the print on it overlap you shouldn't have too much excesses so i'm going to just trim off the excess right there then i'm going to be using my glue uh glue to glue them together you're going to be applying little glue just little then you wait for a few seconds for it to dry then you place them on top of each other and glue Now with my bias strip and my UH glue, I'm going to cover the wire as you can see. I'm just going to use my bias strip, apply glue on it and use it to cover the wire brown like that. Now the next step is to start sewing loose stitches on the upper part of the crinoline i'm going to just start sewing these stitches like that round from one end to the other i just sew the stitches like that round as you can see and i'm going to drag the thread i pull the thread to gather that part i just pull the thread to gather it like that and i'm going to tie a knot to secure it i'll tie a knot it's better to take your needle and thread through one more time to make sure that it is well secured
okay friends the next step is for us to attach her crown this is going to serve as a crown without our crown yes our heart will not sit well on the head so we need to attach our crown see where i'm going to attach my crown i'm going to be using my needle and thread to do this i'll just sew the crown to the crinoline um, on that part okay i'll just sew it with my needle and thread please watch now it's time for us to create designs to embellish our crinoline art when it comes to embellishment it all depends on how you want it so please watch how i'm going to embellish my own heart as at the time i made this video i didn't have enough material so i just decided to do something very simple so please watch i just folded my crinoline this way can you see just watch what i'm doing i'm going to create loops like that create just a simple design and use that to embellish I've created my loops and um, I mean half bowls and I'm just going to put them all together and then um, tack to the top of the crinoline art I'll just tack it right there using my needle and thread to secure it and under the crown I'm going to be putting my headband my plastic headband and I'm going to use my fabric to cover that part so I will just um, finish up all this I'll finish up all this and that is just the end of this video if you are yet to subscribe to this family please join the family click on the subscribe button now tap the bell icon and then be sure to select the option to receive all notifications this will help you receive notifications whenever i upload a new video So you need to note the back and the front of your art. The part where we have our joining should be the back of the art. And you can as well use any accessory like trimmings to cover that part just to embellish it. All right. And um, for your embellishment, just sew it, sew it to your crown. Then you just do the finishing like you know how to. All right. I'm just trying to see if this flower will work. I, I actually changed my mind and use something different later. I hope you found this video helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up share with others and don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to i'll see you all in my next tutorial bye